In today's episode of Bubbles on the Rise, we're at home against a very, very good Arsenal team with legends in their squad such as Robin Van Persie, Cesc Fabregas, the mad German Jens Lehmann and the man who made football sexy Thierry Henry. And like us, they are rebounding after losing their biggest final ever last season, the Champions League final versus Barcelona. They've just moved into their new beautiful state of the art stadium, the Emirates. So with all that going on, you'd forgive them for being a little bit wobbly, but they've started this season on fire, scoring goals for fun, 34 of them in fact, which puts them top of the table as things stand. But we're not doing too badly ourselves. Since we've last been together, we've played five games and won five games, scoring nine and conceding just two to put us in the quarter-final of the League Cup and third in the Premier League, with Dean Aston leading our scoring charts with eight goals and Maserano proving Pardew wrong by being our best player so far with an average rating of 7.36. In the real-life fixture, we beat Arsenal 1-0 thanks to a very late Harewood goal which prompted Pardew's wild celebrations that infuriated Wenger so much he pushed Alan Pardew. So let's see if I can do it better in today's episode of Bubbles on the Rise. Hello guys, here's the team for today's game. We've got Robert Green in goal, Collins, Ferdinand, Gabidon are our back three for the game. Koncheski is on the left wing back role, Javier Maserano is our deep line playmaker, Tyrone Mears is on the right and in the middle we've got Nigel Rio Coca and Hayden Mullins but the big team news comes up top. Our leading scorer, Dean Aston, is out for a couple of weeks with an injury. What's he got? A pulled hamstring. So he's out for two weeks. But rather fittingly, considering what happened in the real life game, Marlon Harewood comes in to partner Carlos Tevez up front. Can we get a similar result to what we got in the real life game? Come on, you irons. The bookmakers have got Arsenal as the favourites. You would expect it because they are a very good team. But we are both in perfect form. Both of us have won five of our last five. Come on, you irons. Here is the Arsenal team for the game today. They've obviously got Lehman in goal. William Gallas, fresh off his move from Chelsea. Cleese on the left. Gilberto Silva, that's a name from the past. And they've obviously got Van Persie on the left-hand side. Little bit weird putting him there. I'd have put him up top alongside Henri myself. But they've got him on the left. Baptista in the middle behind Henri. And Alexander Kleb. That's another name from the past. Oh, my days. And so, this is going to be a very difficult game. But let's get into the dressing room. Let's go get the assistant to do his job. And let's go passionate. Go out there and impress me. No real reaction. Oh, my days. So, come on. Can I get them all motivated? Mm, most of them. A few of them. Most of them are happy. So, that'll do. Prediction time. Uh, pff, no idea. Uh, one nil us. One nil us. I'm gonna be hopeful. Come on, West Ham. Come on, you Irons. First highlight of the game. Two minutes in. Gabidon gets it off Robert Green's goal kick, and now it goes out wide to Tyrone Mears. He's cutting inside. Can he get the ball into the box? No, he don't. He goes to Mullins who goes back to Maserano, who goes out wide. Koncheski's in space. Can he get the ball into the box? Come on, come on, you bald-headed, beautiful man. And Tevez has made an absolute mockery of trying to have a shot there. But now, a minute later, highlight is still going on. And it's Arsenal coming forward again. Maserano gets it back off Baptista, clears it long. And Tevez now on the counter. Goes back to Paul Koncheski. And what can Paul, Paul do? Goes to Maserano, back to Collins. We're keeping the ball nicely here. 
Koncheski goes long. Tevez is in behind the defence. He's into the box. He's gone for the shot. And Carlos Tevez with his eighth of the season gives West Ham the lead. Early doors with only four minutes on the clock. What a nice goal this was from Tevez. Once he got the ball off Paul Koncheski's pass. Tevez got the ball, ran into the box, and he was never going to miss that. Beautifully placed it right into the corner of the net. Two minutes later, and yet another highlight, as now Koncheski's got the ball forward. Harewood is in. Harewood's made it 2-0. It's 2-0. Eight minutes gone, and we are absolutely destroying this Arsenal team. Oh my gosh. As my green screen is going mental as well, I might have to take this jumper off and get this beautiful shirt on. Oh, you can't see me arms. You can't see me arms. Oh, my days. I'm going to have to fix this green screen here. I've got no arms. Oh, there you go. That's a bit better. You can see me arms now, at least. But what is not better is Arsenal getting forward into the box. Van Persie with a header. And his header has thankfully gone over the bar. 27 minutes gone, Koncheski, who set up both of our goals, throws it into Maserano, who goes back to Ginger Pele, James Collins, and now Mullins back to Maserano. We have kept the ball quite nicely here, but we've only had 36% of the possession. So outside of the highlights, Arsenal have had a lot of the ball. And now Green goes to Gabidon. And can Gabadon get the ball wide? Yes, he does. Goes to Tyrone Mears, who goes long. And Harewood has got it on the right-hand side. Can he get this into the box? Yes, he does. Koncheski with the header. And it's 3-0 free, free to the West Ham boys. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? This is beyond my wildest dreams. Paul Koncheski has set up two and scored one now. I have no words. I have no words for what is occurring here. Double figures? Maybe we might get double figures by the end of this. Who knows? Half hour gone. And now Arsenal again, deep in our own half. They cross it into the box and Van Persie's header is poor and never looked like troubling us. Oh, maybe one more highlight before half time. They've had a free kick and I think that's Thierry Henry's header again has gone over the bar. Wow, what a first half. We are 3-0 up against Arsenal. But look at those stats. We really shouldn't be. We've only had four shots. Thankfully, four of them have been on target. But Arsenal have had 10 shots, six on target, 61% of the ball. How we're 3-0 up, I don't know. But I am not going to moan. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. Uh, I'm very happy with the way things are going. And yep, everybody's delighted. So we're going to leave it like that. No point making changes right now. Let's get into the second half. Five. I want five. Okay, just over 20 minutes left to go in the game. No highlights as of yet in the second half. But we have just made a couple of changes. We're resting Carlos Tevez. He scored a goal today. He's done very well. But we're resting him. So Bobby Zamora is coming on for him. And Lee Boya is coming on in midfield in place of Hayden Mullins. 15 minutes left to go in the game. Robert Green with a short goal kick to Collins. Back to Ferdinand. To Maserano. Rio Coca. Collins. And Collins goes all the way back to Green. And what's he going to do with it? He goes out to the other side to Gabidon. Arsenal are trying to press us now. And now Collins again. We're keeping the ball nicely, but doing absolutely sod all with it. And now can we get the ball forward, please? I have got us on attacking. And finally the ball goes forward. Tyrone Mears coming inside. And can he get the ball out wide? He does. Koncheski is in loads of space. He crosses it in. Zamora with the header. And that would have been just too nice. Five minutes left. Robert Green to Collins. Back to Green. And Green into Anton Ferdinand. Maserano. Ferdinand out wide. Mears has got a bit of space there. He's past his defender. He's into the box. Can he square it? He does. Marlon Harewood. Zamora. Harewood save. Shot was saved. And Zamora with the easy tap in. 4 0 to the Cockney boys. 4 0 to the Cockney boys. 
<laughs> Have a look at this again on the replay. Mears got past his man, squared it to Harewood, his shot was saved, and even I could have scored that from there. A minute left in this game, Gallas goes long, and Walcott, the youngster, goes to Matthew Flamini, out wide to Ibue, and Ibue is going to get into the box, don't give away a penalty, don't give away a penalty, keep the clean sheet, and thankfully I think we're going to, Baptista's shot there was saved by Green, and that should be the end of it, or apparently not, a minute left in injury time, Fabregas goes to Matthew Flamini, and back to Fabregas, to Lundberg, to Fabregas. They are playing some decent football here. And Walcott's got himself some space if he can keep this in, but he can't. And so that will be the end of it. There you go. 4-4-4-4-0 four, 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 to the West Ham boys. How we've won that 4-0, I don't know. Because, again, look at these match stats. Eight shots we've had, half of their 16, seven on target to their 10, 64% of the ball they had. But we did a much better job with the little amount of the ball that we did have. And what a famous result that is. Let's go and get into the team talk. Let's go passionate and let's go. A very nice victory. Well done. I'm about to sneeze, so there's going to be a weird cut in a second. Or not. And so, let's go. Very nice victory. Well done. End the team talk. And let's go and have a look and see what that does for the league table. And where we'll come back for the next game. Here's how the league table is looking. We're still third in the league. Level on points with Arsenal. A point behind Chelsea. So we're very, very much in with a shout of winning the league this year, which would be absolutely phenomenal. Leicester City-esque it would be. And so now let's go and have a look and see when we're going to come back for the next video. I'm not sure. Do I just play the one game in between and come back for Chelsea? Or, I don't know, who else do we come back for? Watford maybe? They're not, no. I think we come back end of January for Reading. That's what we'll do. End of the transfer window because we'll have some money to spend. And so that's when we're going to come back. West Ham versus Reading. Hopefully you come back for that episode. If you've enjoyed this one, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. This series and the way and the Kings Lynn. Uh, the Kings Lynn series as well. Walks to Prem. Next episode of that, episode 50. We've got a chance of getting promoted out of League 2 in our first season. So please do check that out. It's going to be a phenomenal episode, the next one of that. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And check out the Passion for FM website, Twitter, Discord. And the Facebook. If I said Facebook, I don't know. You'll see it all on the screen right now. And as well as that, check out all the Passion for FM YouTubers. All their details are down below. They're all doing awesome stuff. So please do check them out. And yep, that is me for today. I shall see you tomorrow for Walks to Prem. See you later. Bye.